Hello, this is Wayne with Tri-County Locksmith Service, and today we're going to be changing out the uh, diamond blade on this Drill Doctor 750X. Uh, it comes with this, I think it's like a 120 degree, or 120 uh, grit diamond wheel. Uh, they sell replacement wheels for them, so you can either get a stock wheel, or I've actually gone with this, uh, this higher grit. This is an 80 grit, so it's just basically going to remove a whole lot more material, a whole lot faster for me. Um, you know, I, I wanted to go ahead and get all my drill bits. This is the first one that I've had, the first drill doctor that we've had. Um, so basically I want to get all my giant bucket of drill bits done with this rough coarse uh, blade. And then we'll go ahead and put this stock one back in and just keep everything maintained from then on out. Um, so basically what we're going to want to do is take this right here. You'll get this supplied wrench that fits on like so and this is going to be a reverse thread uh, screw so what you're going to want to do is keep that in mind use a big Phillips head screwdriver pop that screw off like so that'll come off your diamond wheel will come off and then we'll go ahead and put this new one on there you can see the difference under the magnifying glass uh, on uh, this is the higher grit one this is the factory one this is just going to remove a whole lot more material a whole lot faster so that's the main goal here so we'll put that back on keep this slide that on there I don't think it matters which way it goes on put our screw back on and again remember Reverse thread, put that like so. Apply your wrench, apply a little bit of tension to tighten, and you're good to go. Now, we can sharpen one of our old, dirty, nasty burn-up bits. This is, a, this is a really good quality bit. However, it just took a lot of abuse in the field. Uh, you can see by all the uh, colored discoloration on there uh, so we'll just pop this in here put it in here just get it fairly tight so it can still move but not around too much go ahead and put this in like so open up the jaws line it up like so Spin that drill bit till those jaws are flat. Tighten this down. We'll go ahead and take a look at this drill bit under the magnifying glass here. And you can see how chewed up it is. It's just, just about toasted. Discolored. Chipping of the blade here. Chipping of the blade there. Um, so we can go ahead and see how this thing performs. We'll turn it on. Already, that this thing takes a whole lot more material off a whole lot faster than the other ones. We're still going to want to run this blade in there some more simply because of these rounded edges. We haven't got those quite filed off of there yet towards the edge, but you can see that it's starting to take shape and uh, it's doing it a whole lot faster than the, the regular. that it's not contacting it as much what you can do is reinsert it into the, the jaws here 
loosen it up just a little bit. And go ahead and push that drill bit in a little bit further now. Realign it. And basically what that does is that pushes the drill bit in a little bit further so it's going to contact the wheel a little bit more. If you've got really, really bad drill bits like this one right here, that's going to go ahead and save you time after you do about 10 to 15 rotations. Go ahead and push that drill bit in again and then you'll, you'll get a little more cutting area. You can hear how it starts cutting better already. Take a look at this under the magnifying glass. We'll go ahead and see that we're starting to get that. These tips, these edges all cut down. This would have taken about twice as long on that other wheel, on that stock wheel. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and insert this into the side cutter. This is, this, this is how you split the point for uh, metal cutting mostly. Uh, it just splits that point, makes a nice center punch, so that way it, it doesn't, it reduces the walking around and increases the, the drilling speed. Again, you wanna always keep rotating everything, making sure everything's even on both sides. So that way you're not just working one side over the other. Everything has to come right to the middle, otherwise you're not going to drill uh, squarely and centrally. Okay, so I to keep rotating. show it right here how we get that split point you can see how it digs right into the side of that just like so right all up in here and right in there and that goes ahead and and makes that nice sharp center point like that so it go it, it, it can dig in and it can bite right away uh, so even though this drill bit looks like it's had better days before um, that's where this tool, I mean, it's going to save you a ton of money. If you use drill bits on steel at all, or even woodworkers, um, this thing's going to save you a ton of money in the long run. So I can pop that one out. Especially on these bigger bits like this. I mean, this is a, you know, this is a $15, $20 bit right now. So we'll go ahead and... Right away, we start to get some cuttings, just like so, and it's starting to go ahead and drill into that material. Um, great way to save money and save time. Um, if you're going to do a lot of drill bit sharpening, go ahead and invest in that extra, that 80 grit wheel. It's going to save you a ton of time. It's going to cut your grind time in about half. Um, I'm going to probably put this one back on after I get everything caught up and then just maintain it with this one because it's going to be a little bit finer uh, grind on there. But for the most part, 
uh, this is going to do the heavy the heavy work. Or if I do my carbide bits, carbide's super super hard, super super tough on stuff. I want to keep this wheel, this stock wheel for my regular drill bits like these, and I'm going to use this heavy duty one for the the carbide um, and the and the heavier duty bits. So. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com.